It's two seconds left in the um in the 12th round. So, hold on, I'm getting my voice back. Do re mi fa so la ti do. Do re mi fa so la ti do. Um. So, I do not know who won. Um, right now it is 5.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, May the 22nd, excuse me, 23rd, 2015. I am T Street Controversy with RealCombatMedia.com, and I cover every single major fight live. I'm getting back a couple more days, my voice will fully be back, but I'm feeling pretty good. And this was a very exciting fight, but here's the thing. Andre Durrell goes down twice in the second round. First round was one of those uh, kind of toss-up rounds. We saw James DeGale get cut over, what was that, the left eye, no, the right eye, also in the second round. But after the second round, James DeGale, did he run out of gas? Did he get injured? Spinal? Was it his shoulder? Did he not get his light okay shot? Did he... Well, I guess what I'm saying is this. It seems as though he may have forgotten that he's in the States now. I don't know who won yet. So I'm interested to see right here real time what the cards are going to be. Because in my opinion, he lost the fight himself. No, okay, put it this way, put it this way. I gave him the last round, which in my opinion was crucial. I won't be surprised if the fight's... If, if Andre Durrell becomes the new IBF 158, um, excuse me, 68 pound champion, or if the fight ends in the draw, because after a while, round six, seven, eight, maybe even, I mean, nine, James DeGale did nothing. Once again, I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live at RealCombatMedia.com. I cover every single major fight live. I announced on Twitter, and of course you should have known if you're a boxing fan, because I know there's going to be people on my, um, in the comments, they're going to say stuff like, oh, I didn't know this fight came on early, why didn't nobody tell me? Listen, that's why I post all that stuff on Twitter, not me, put it this way. This was a very big fight for so many different reasons, when you have, okay, so they're going to be reading the card soon, the commercial break is over. Give me a little bit of time to rest my voice. I can't wait to hear this. So what I'll do is I'll post the full fight on the channel via a playlist. So I'll have it running. Let's listen to this. Please subscribe, share, follow on Twitter. Your first judge at ringside, Dan Fitzgerald scores the fight 114 to 112. Your second judge, Alan Davis, sees it 117 to 109. And your third and final judge, Howard Foster, sees the fight 114 to 112. All for the winner by unanimous decision. And now the new super middleweight champion, Chunky James Begin. Ah, cards were. Let's let's run that. Okay, now we can rewind it back. Let's run it back and hear him again. Your first judge at ringside, Dan Fitzgerald scores the fight one fourteen to one twelve. Your okay. second judge, Alan Davis, sees it one seventeen to one oh nine. And your third and final judge, Howard Foster, sees the fight one fourteen to one twelve. All for the winner. By unanimous decision, and now the new super middleweight champion, Chunky James Begin. You have to give respect. He came to the United States and did that. 114-112. Okay, I can agree with that. He was driven by history. He now has a 117-109 though. Gold medalist. In the United States. A world champion. He had gold in Beijing in 2008. James Chucky DeGale has the You know what I'm looking for? I'm looking for if they give James DeGale the belt. 
Okay, okay they're putting the belt on me. Okay, let's pause it right here. I'm going to let them talk, but let me say, um, total punches. 111, 111 of 488 total punches um, for Andre Durrell, 23%. 115 of 400 for James DeGale, 29%. He was very active in the first um, four rounds or so, but something happened. I can't wait to hear his post-fight interview, so let's go let these guys, um... The what they say? That close, Darrell much more effective in the middle rounds with that jab. How much is DeGale landing the most, including those big lefts in that second round? And it was James DeGale closing out strong in the 11th and 12th rounds to get this victory. Paul is standing by with the new champion. Kenny, thank you, James. You said you started thinking about this the moment you won gold in 2008. You finally made it here. Describe your feelings. I'm speechless. What can I say? My whole career, all up, yeah. what I've been building up to is winning the world title, and I've finally done it. I finally done it. It's unbelievable feeling. I'm world champ. I'm world champ. I made history. First Olympic gold medalist with a world champion. You made history with all of the skills. You talked to me yesterday about how versatile you will. You came over here with a full arsenal of skills. Which skill did you need the most to get that right there? Speed and footwork. See, when I was coming in and out, throwing the bowlers over the top, getting out, dipping. I'm back now. I'm in G3. I will take on any super middleweight in the world. I'm hard to beat when I'm at my best. I'm telling you, I'm hard to beat. It looked like you were on your heels a little bit right away, then in the second round, right away you came back with a knockout. What happened at that point? I don't know, I was just, just feeling my way through. Listen, let's not forget, he's a he's a very, very good opponent, talented Olympic gold medalist, no, Olympic bronze medalist. He's very, very talented. He's hard to beat. If anything, it's me and him, second and third in the rankings. Andre Ball's there and it's me and him. There's no other super middleweight that would beat me on my day, I'm telling you. I feel the respect right now, but a lot of talking during the fight and afterwards, you guys spent a pretty good couple of moments together. What did you say to each other? I said, you are a true champion, a skillful fighter, and I respect him. He's a very, very good, skilled opponent. And I knew I was up, I knew I was in for a hard fight, I knew it. But listen, I'm super fit, I'm feeling good. Now, really, man, I'm IBF world champion. I'm world champion. You left out the fact that you're the first British born boxer to be an Olympic gold medalist and a world champion. Yeah. He said it already. It will be a happy plane ride home for James DeGale coming to the U.S. and taking the super middleweight title, defeating Andre Durrell. So what do we talk about now? Um, rematch? Yeah, because now James DeGale is the A-side, so Andre Durrell, I don't see him going over to the U.K., um, as far as Andre Ward is concerned, we don't even know if Andre Ward's going to be at 168 pounds anymore because he's fighting, of all people, Paul Smith, who James DeGale beat, stopped, um, at a catch weight of 172 pounds. Call the Cobra Fronts, well, we know they just fought for Call the Cobra Fronts' belt because James DeGale was the mandatory. Call Fronts didn't want a bit of pull and push in front of 80,000 in Wembley. So, no Call Fronts. Um, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. James DeGale would just smash his face in. Even this James DeGale tonight would smash the face of Chavez Jr. So I'm asking myself, well, what about that uh, elephant in the room, that, um, that, 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 that overly sensitive guy? Just my opinion, because he blocked me on Twitter. I don't even know why. I'm not even a troll. Um, George St. Groves, who is officially will be fighting Bottle Jack for the 168-pound WBC title in September. It'll likely be the week of Mayweather next next fight. People want to say on the undercard. It could be. They could work some magic to get it on the undercard. Eddie Hearn and um, Al Heyman work very closely together. But I don't see it. I see it something like on, you know, like a special Showtime Championship Boxing Special Edition or something. But if it is on the undercard, more power to it. But since George Groves defeated... James DeGale. James DeGale is a different type of animal. George Groves is still good, but George Groves, in my opinion, has some things he has to prove.
for one, he has to prove that he can go the distance and still maintain his um, his um, aggressiveness after round six. You know, because that fight with uh, Christopher Verbrox, I'm thinking to myself, you know, even James DeGale tonight, you know, he, maybe he gassed, whatever the case may be, maybe he punched himself out, would still give George Groves another defeat. That's just my opinion. But I'm T Street Controversy, you know, for the sake of my voice, I need to keep my videos up to 10 minutes for the next couple of weeks. So, T Street Controversy, we are getting back to being a full, to being back on full schedule. I've been sick, so I know there's been so much news I've been missing. I can't wait just to get back into the flow of putting out, you know, five plus videos a day. So everyone relax. In the meantime, enjoy some of the beautiful content. Thank you to Premier Boxing Champion, Showtime, um, CBS. And right now, you know, we're providing full coverage for fights. Visit RealCombatMedia.com for boxing articles, interviews, and anything related to mixed martial arts, boxing, or jujitsu. First link in the description box. Also, thank you to um, Be Real TV. Please subscribe for providing us with the um, James DeGale um, versus Andre Durrell footage as far as interviews with James DeGale, Sky Sports, Spencer, uh, Spencer Farron, and Eddie Hearn. T Street Controversy, T Street Controversy Live.